Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about the project which we created in our last video. So we are going to understand the complete uh, inferencing inside the project and then we will customize our project with our needs and we will remove the unnecessary piece of code from the source files. So if you haven't watched my video, please go and watch it. Uh, in the last video we took pedestrian tracker demo from the open window toolkit as our base project and then we uh, renamed it and we built the samples again. So we are going to work on that and uh, before working on it we need to initialize the open window environment. So before starting with the project let's also discuss about the steps we need for it. So uh, to work with any of the open window project we need to first start the open window uh, script to initialize the open window environment and then we need to start the visual studio where the visual studio will be our main IDE from where we will edit our code. So we, we need to make sure that we start the visual studio from the terminal itself from the command prompt where we have initialized the open window. Let's say you have initialized the open window from the command prompt and you are starting the visual studio normally like this. So it's not going to work. It will give you an error. So you need to start the command uh, visual studio from the same command prompt. Now let me tell you how we can do this. So let's first go into our directory. So this is my directory where I have saved the set, which is where the setup file is present. So let's cd into this directory and then I will copy this, call the setup file. So this has initialized the environment. Now next thing is we need to launch the Visual Studio from the same command prompt. If I am starting the Visual Studio like this, it's not going to work. It's again going to give you an error. So we need to move into directory where the Visual Studio is installed. So I'll go into the C directory, program files. Uh, I'll go with the Microsoft Visual Studio. And then the version, community, common 7, IDE and so this is the exe of the visual studio so i will cd into this directory and i will launch uh, let me see dev dot, dot exe okay so now this is going to launch the visual studio and this visual studio is now has been started under the open Vino environment so this is going to work fine but the problem here is we are going to edit our code again and again so we don't need to repeat this step these like, all the steps because it's going to take some time so we, we first need to create a batch file which will do all these steps automatically so for this let's create a notepad file i will name it as init.environment as bat file now let's I did this so we first need okay so we first need to move into the directory where our setup file is present so I will go into C drive program files Intel software tools open we know bin and I will call the setup dot bat file so this will initialize my environment now I will move into the directory where my Visual Studio is installed let me copy its path as well paste it here and I will call this particular exe so let me copy its full name Okay, so this script, what this script will does is, we don't need to uh, open the command prompt and run the setup file and then launch the Visual Studio. This is automatically going to do everything for us and in the end it will launch the Visual Studio from where we can work on our project. Let's, let me also add the echo of here. Okay. Let's test this if it's working fine or not. I'll run it as admin. And you can see. So what the script has done is it has initialized our open window environment and it has also launched the Visual Studio. Okay, so I will simply click on the sample solutions which we built in our last video. 
so this is done let me open the solution okay here you can also see that this is this is our project which we created in our last and let me open its main file okay so just for the testing purpose I'm going to build this solution again uh, just to make sure that all the libraries and all the DLLs have been linked properly so I've cleaned it first and then I'm going to rebuild it if it rebuild with zero errors and zero warnings that means we are good to go if it shows some error which means that uh, we have created some issues while loading the solutions or either building the sample files okay so the solution has been built with zero errors and uh, looks like we are good to go now so now let's start understanding the code and how inferencing is happening inside this main.cpp file so remember we have the prediction tracker demo what it does is it basically detects the persons in a video file or a usb camera feed and it also starts tracking them so i can see we have a list of header files here and let me close this close this and i'm okay so this is where we have our main function and inside this i can see that they have a main work function where all the inferencing is happening so this is that particular function apart from this particular function we also have this parse and check command line parameters so this is the function which is taking care of all the uh, command line arguments which we pass while running the code and uh, <clears throat> this is where this function is taking care of all the tracking so this is the tracker uh, which tracks the persons detected in the in the inferencing so let's start with this function so because this project needs uh, the command line arguments what we are going to do is we are going to define the static path to all the model files and the test videos which we have so I am pretty much going to remove all the parameters from here so let me remove this complete line okay let's save this uh, so from this so these are all the command line parameters which this project needs now because we have removed the models uh, models path and all other paths so we don't need few of the things so we can remove this video path we are going to make this as static and we are we can also remove these we can also remove the detector mode and the de-identification mode and we will keep it as it is we will keep it as it is uh, okay we will not going to change anything in this if you want you can also remove this particular uh, code I don't seem to find any use case for this in this code so I kill I'll remove this one as well okay uh, so here what they have done is so if I can see so you can see here that they have created a pedestrian detector so this is basically a person detector they have created this as an object detector which accepts a detector config and a plugin so let's first check what detector config is so this detector config is basically a combination of the model file and its weight file which we will mention uh, in statically as in our code and this detector plugin is where we need to mention the detector mode detector mode is basically where the person detection file will run either on CPU GPU myriad or any other hardware you have so and I think the same is happening for and I think the same is happening for the tracker as well so this is the its model file its weight file and all other things so let's start by adding let's start by adding our model file so I will mention here and I will mention detection model now here we need to supply the path where our model file is present so I've saved all the model files on my desktop let me open it models 
this is the person detection and this is the person identification I'll copy its path and here I will mention the name of the model and we need the double slashes I'll copy this and we'll put it as detection weight and I'll change it to dot bin okay so detection model we have loaded in the same way I'm going to load the re-identification model which will do tracking for us so I will mention what is the name REID REID model and let me copy the name of this file as well okay done and here I will mention REID WEA weights and I will copy the name perfect so this looks great so we have now we need to define the modes where our uh, the person direction and the tracking will happen so I will make it as detector mode and I will mention CPU in the same way auto REID mode and I will make it as CPU so if you have GPU you can mention GPU as well no worries in that now this is fine let me do it like this and this is the prediction tracker which will track so I will do it like this So till here everything looks fine to me now this is how uh, the Intel is opening the video path but we are going to use the OpenCV in here so let me add the OpenCV code here so for this I will delete this part and I will mention CV video capture and I will mention cap and here I will mention cap dot open so inside this we can either mention the path to a test video file or we can mention zero to get the feed from uh, the uh, from the camera of the laptop I think we don't need this now okay we need semicolon here and we don't need this as well but we need this variable so I'll mention some value here 25 uh, we don't need this as well and okay so they here they are reading the frames uh, so instead of this we can define we can define cap dot read frame cap dot read frame okay so we have we also need to um, initialize our frame so for that cv mat frame now it looks good uh, we can remove this we don't need this but we definitely need this frame index so this frame index is basically it's counting the number of frames so what we can do is we can we need we don't need this uh, message forget about this so int frame index equals to 0 and here we will keep on increasing the frame index we don't need this PT check now and we I don't think we need this code as well I don't know what this code is doing but we'll ignore it for now we'll see if any we get any errors or something 
okay so i think we are done here and uh, so inside this for loop we are reading the frame from either from our test video file or from the usb camera and then we are passing that particular frame to the person detector and then we are also fetching the results uh, here we are also okay so here we are getting the results from the detector and here we are passing the frame to the tracker as well which will process it and after that i think this is the line which keeps on drawing the lines in the video for uh, i mean which keeps on tracking the person and this is where the inferencing is. this is where we are putting the text and drawing the rectangle and everything and this is where uh, we are showing resizing the uh, resizing the frame and this is where we are showing the window so this delay we can remove and make it as one okay now everything looks good no errors let me also make this project as my startup project because otherwise it's going to give me an error now let's try to clean this and rebuild the solution. So the build has been completed and we can see that everything is succeeded with zero errors and zero warnings which is good. Now the only thing remaining here is that we need to mention the test video file path or the USB camera. So let's say you are working with the camera which is provided in the laptop. So you just need to mention zero here and it will start inferencing from your from your laptop's inbuilt camera. Or let's say you have a USB camera. Uh, so you can mention one here and it will start the camera feed from your USB camera. For this video, we are going to mention the path to a test video file. So let me copy the path. Uh, it's again in my models directory videos and we are going to use this test video so let me copy its path and let's use double slashes here okay so now this will start the test video uh, test video file and it will do the inferencing on the video everything looks fine to me so let's let me let's run this in the release mode because in debug mode is going to be very slow so let me start the process now okay so we have faced some issues uh, error loading the xml file okay so the name is not correct let's go to the xml yeah this is the issue let's run it again okay perfect so as you can see that it has started our test video and uh, it will also start the inferencing so as soon as the person comes in you see this blue blue rectangle means the person has been detected and as soon as it turns red which means that the person is now getting tracked you can also see this object id it has assigned it is the zeroth person in the frame and the conference score is also getting displayed so which means that inferencing is happening good and uh, we have also been able to understand the complete code so thanks to intel the code is not very complex to understand and i hope through this video you are able to understand the code as well so I guess that's all for this video. Uh, in the next videos, we will also customize this code and we'll probably add some frames per second. So as you can see, uh, we don't have any FPS counter somewhere in our video file. So we are not able to judge how much FPS we are getting from this test video. So in the next video, we will add FPS. And uh, so yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.